In this video today, I'm going to be discussing a big problem that we see quite commonly here uh, at the shop, and that's rodents or rats uh, under the hood of your vehicle. So let's get at it. So here's a very common problem that we see with vehicles in around uh, coming in through our shop here. So um, what we're getting here is you can see we have basically rodent feces all over. Um, unfortunately, they also uh, they like to, to urinate, you know, everywhere. And um, there's you know two big concerns with this. One, um, they like to eat the wiring and hoses sometimes and cause damage under your hood. The other thing is there's, they can actually carry disease. So um, you know obviously uh, you don't want to be uh, messing with that at all. So um, this vehicle here luckily has no damage yet, but so basically doing an inspection all in and around and looking for what we can see. Nothing really there. Just basically, like I say, a lot of feces and that kind of stuff. So um, anyways, uh, so, you know, if you have maybe like an engine cover, you could pull that up and have a look. But uh, if you're not noticing anything yet, that's a good thing. Now's the time to do something about it. So if you've insp inspected underneath your hood and you've deemed that you have no damage, um, you know, I mean, if you don't need it to be repaired or if you're not repairing it yourself, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to clean the area completely. So just before you get going on that, you're definitely going to want to wear gloves and uh, you know, potentially you know, a mask if it's maybe really dry or if there's a nest that's really dry that you need to remove or something like that. Um, but if there's not, a mask is probably, um, you know, it's probably advised but not that important. Um, one thing I definitely want to note is you do not want to use uh, air or any kind of blower to uh, blow it away. You're definitely going to want to wash it. You don't want to get anything airborne. So if you're at your home and you don't happen to have any degreaser, um, like I have here, uh, basically soap and water would work quite well. Dish soap um, <clears throat> will break it down quite well. Um, you know, spray it liberally and uh, go over it really well and just, you know, really coat it and, um, you know, get as much as you can away. So once we have this all sprayed down, um, we've let it soak, we've got it cleaned. Um, obviously, if there's any you know, nests or anything like that, we've got those removed. Um, you want to remove any leaves, nuts, chicken bones. I mean, we see them uh, bring all kinds of stuff in there. So make sure you've got that all removed, got the soap on, just give it a complete liberal spray down and just rinse it completely and thoroughly. All right, so we have it completely rinsed now. Now would be a really good time just to do a reinspection, see if there's still any feces left or anything like that. If so, spray it down again. Just you know, continue two or three times if you need to. Um, you know, if it's a really bad case, um, and then from there, basically, we're just going to go ahead and dry the vehicle. So, um, you know, if you had, uh, if you have time, you could probably just let it naturally dry, start the vehicle up, let it run, maybe take it for a quick drive. Um, that's probably what I'm going to do here. Just make sure everything's okay. You may get a little bit of squeak from the belt uh, if it's wet, you know, that may go away instantly, it may last for a couple of minutes, but usually that's going to be uh, perfectly fine. I wouldn't be worried about any elect electronics or the battery or anything about that. So I would just uh, fire it up, drive it, everything should be okay. All right, so got the vehicle driven, uh, relatively dried off, um, you know, no huge standing pools of water or, you know, completely running off. Uh, soaking wet just lightly dried off it doesn't have to be completely dry for this next step but something uh, it'll definitely help uh, help a little bit if it is a bit more dry so um, basically what we're gonna have here is we have a spray bottle with about you know half three quarters full of water and what I've done here is I've added um, some uh, peppermint oil so um, yeah I've, I think I added I counted about 40 drops of peppermint oil into the spray bottle and um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to completely um, soak down the whole area. So um, from what I understand, the, the mice, the rodents, they do not like the peppermint oil. So um, we're going to go ahead and soak it down completely, um, you know, basically give it a really good coating. Um, it's not going to do any harm to the engine. So we wanted to really treat it really well. So another thing you could do um, if you wanted to, too, is that you could take a few cotton balls and put a few direct drops of this in them 
and kind of place them around the engine, you know, maybe three, four of them, um, you know, basically to help, uh, you know, make the smell more. So yeah, basically, uh, let's just go ahead, let's get it all sprayed down. So I went ahead and got the engine completely coated. Um, the one thing that you're not gonna be able to tell on video, obviously is just how nice it smells. So, so, I mean, you can definitely smell the peppermint. It's quite strong, so. Um, the one thing I actually don't know is how long the treatment is gonna last. So, um, you know, after a couple of weeks, maybe open the hood, just get a quick smell. I mean, if you can't tell it's there, you know, maybe just recoat it down. I mean, uh, it's, not, it's a very cheap alternative to, um, you know, some of the other options. Um, we have a device that we install called the mouse blocker. Um, basically, it's an optical and audio uh, box that we put in here. It makes a high frequency sound and it flashes some lights, helps scare away the rats, but you know, that does come at a, a more of a cost. This very cheap, ineffective solution. So, you know, give that a try. I really hope it helps you out. And uh, yeah, if you like um, what we shared today, if it helps you in any way, please consider subscribing and uh, hit the notification to keep in touch with our next and latest videos. So till then, thanks so much. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.